my name is Sandra, and I'm going to start reading about this article called How the Patriot Act Works. Um, this was written by Ed Grabenowski. can't really pronounce that. Um, it was written in 2011, so not so long ago. Well, let's see what this article is about. The Patriot Act is a U.S. law passed in the wake of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. September 11, 2001. Um, I'm going to highlight this because it seems like pretty important information. So I'm going to name this as... Well, it says there is a law being passed in the U.S., which is very important because being the law means it will be with us for quite a while. <clears throat> the passing law of renewal of the Patriot Act has been extremely controversial. Renewal here is C has a one, and I'm not quite sure what this means. But I hear just a footnote, so it says, The law was first passed in 2001, then revised and approved again in 2006. So, I was trying to say, the passing and renewal of the Patriot Act so it got passed in September 11th, as it says here, but they remade it and passed it on to 2006. So it must have some types of changes in it. Um, controversial, I am not quite exactly what that word means, so I'm going to quickly highlight that word as words. As words, I don't know. Okay, I know. You don't know your name, though. I don't know anything else. Thank you. I have. Supporters claim that it has been instrumental in a number of investigations and arrests of terrorists. While critics counter the act gives the government too much power, threatens civil liberties, and undermines the very democracy it seeks to protect. Wow. Um, well, that was a lot of information, so I'm just going to break it down a little bit. Supporters claim that it has been instrumental in a number of investigations and arrests of territories. I believe that this part says that there has been an instrumental number, um, so as a lot of investigations and the rest because of the terrorists. I believe this is kind of important because it shows that we have a lot going on. So let me just highlight that. While critics counter the act gives the government too much power. Um, giving the government too much power isn't much of a good idea, which also makes me think about how they made the branches to limit the powers. So I wonder how this is happening to giving too much power if they have that. Um, continuing. Threaten civil civil liberties and undermines the very democracy it seeks to protect. Liberties too, as well as a footnote. So go down here to check it out. Civil liberties are a person's basic rights, like freedom of speech. Okay, so they're threatening to our rights and undermines undermines. I'm not quite sure what that means. Neither kind of confused about that word. Um, so I'm just change the code on that. The very democracy it seeks to protect. So the democracy and government and all the rights are here to protect our protect us, but it's saying that it's threatened. So perhaps 
is saying that the terrorist attacks that has been happening in 2001 um, is very really threatening our civil liberties and rights. Um, TV, you know, let's take a look at the Patriot Act, at what the Patriot Act is, the support and criticism behind it, and the Patriot Act is really working. Um, Title two is just one section of the bill. The bill, perhaps the Bill of Rights, I'm thinking. It allows the interception of communications if they're related to terrorist activities and also law enforcement agencies to share information related to terrorist activities with federal authorities. Um, interception, I'm not quite sure what it is that they mean by that by interception, perhaps by something like crossing over each other or someone like that. Um, of communications and if they're related to terrorist activities and allows law enforcement agencies to share information related to terrorist attacks with federal authorities. Communications, like speaking as well, into having an interception communications um, could mean to be listening over to things to see what the law enforcement agencies um, can hear over to see if some information that people are speaking are related to these terrorist attacks. Title II also allows delayed. I'm sorry, go back to the screen. Um, I think this is quite important because we see that the law enforcement agencies um, wants to help us to see if, it, if they hear anything. So I think that's very important. Related to terrorist activities. So I think I'm going to just highlight this whole sentence because it's very important. Title II also allows delayed notification of search warrants, meaning a suspect's house could be searched while the suspect isn't present, and the suspect would not be notified of the search until after it was carried out. Wow, um, I don't really think that is right. Being able to search a suspect's house without them being there and telling them until afterwards, I don't think that really is fair. And it kind of goes against our Fourth Amendment, so I don't really think that's really fair to do. Um, continuing, the Patriot Act has come under fire for a number of reasons. Okay, the Patriot Act. Um, so there must be reasons for this. It was passed very quickly, just over a month after September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks, and Congress spent very little time reading and debating it. So, to me this seems like Congress didn't even show much importance to it. Um, by some accounts, less than 48 hours passed between the presentations of the bill's final wording and the law passing in both houses of Congress, leading to some doubt whether many members of Congress actually read the lengthy and complex bill. To me, this whole paragraph is showing me that Congress does care about the terrorist attacks, but doesn't really show on what it is that we could do about it. Um, Continuing is, there are fears that Patriot Act reduces or removes many of the civil liberties enjoyed in the United States and guaranteed by the Constitution. <clears throat> uh, they're guaranteeing us by the Constitution. Um, it says that there are fears that this, the Patriot Act could remove some of our liberties and Constitution wouldn't really be guaranteed to do it. The right to privacy not, spe not specifically mentioned in the Constitution but supported by numerous Supreme Court decisions and freedom from unreasonable searches and seizures are the most notable in fragments due to the expansion of government's ability to conduct wiretaps and perform 
searches without notification. So I think this part is very important. Government's ability to conduct wiretaps and for searches without notification. Um, they're able to do unreasonable searches and seizures. And they're free to do this. Um, so this whole article is pretty much saying how the Patriot Act gives us these rights and that they could search and and be able to take things just to see about because of the terrorist attack that happened in September 11th in 2001. It has been the law and it's been passed. Now I'm not quite sure if that law is still on. I really don't think it is. But um, um, I don't, in my opinion, I really don't think it's such of a good law. But that's what other people say and how the Congress has seen this patriarch works. And well, that's all I'm going to say about this article. And thank you for listening to this. And I hope you like it.